Welcome back. Okay, we are coming off of Easter weekend. A lot of people celebrating, but the message was do not congregate, do not go to those parks and use the amenities. But did people listen in the city of Toronto? Mayor John Tory joins us now. Good morning to you, Mayor. Good morning, Mel. And a happy Easter weekend to you. I know you were celebrating um, in a different way, as everyone was, uh, you know, as we try to figure out what's happening here with COVID-19. But were people getting the message? And that is the big question when it comes to ticketing and enforcement this weekend. I think they were. Uh, you know, I take no joy in either having a bylaw that sort of says how close people can be to one another because you sort of think, well, we, do we need that in our uh, society where we, you know, really uh, embrace our freedoms? But I think in this case of a health emergency where lives were at stake, the answer was yes. And uh, I think initially people didn't seem to be getting the message that they were to stay two meters apart, that they weren't to be using the recreational facilities that had been taped off. They were tearing the tape off and jumping over gates and this kind of thing. But it's dramatically improved to the point where we had uh, complaints uh, well over a thousand uh, as we sort of entered the end of the week before the long weekend yesterday it was down to a couple of hundred and i think the complaints are a pretty good measure of what people see uh, and we also had a few more tickets being written but you know what in the end uh, where they wrote i think 140 tickets uh, in total uh, you know over the course of the last couple of weeks uh, that's pretty small number 40 i think over the weekend uh, in a city of three million people and where you did have hundreds of complaints and i think uh, hats off to people who cooperated and who seemed to get the message and hats off to the police officers and bylaw officers. I mean, they take no joy either in going up to people and sort of reminding them, which I hope they do politely, and I'm sure they do, uh, you know, that, that there are requirements that they stay apart, and that's only to stop the spread of this virus. So I think we're making progress, and I guess that's all you can hope for at a time when we're, you know, so concerned about everybody's health and about getting the city open again as soon as possible. Indeed. Of course, the number we're aiming for here is zero when it comes to these tickets and enforcement. So yeah. the latest release that came from the city, at least, was 48 tickets for the use of closed parks and amenities, 30 32% of these number of tickets issued um, since enforcement began nine days ago. So we're seeing that down. Do we have any updates to those? I know these were released yesterday, but uh, or is it still within that same range? No, those are the latest numbers I have. And the 48 tickets is out of 191, I think, in total since the beginning of April that have been issued. And so I really think that that is a little more over the course of the weekend because the police decided and the bylaw people decided. Uh, you know, I, I did make a request and express my own opinion, but they made their own decision to uh, step up enforcement. And I think that was good because I think it caused people to focus more more on the fact that this is for health reasons. This is for their own health, but it's also because there are people around the city, no fault of theirs, who are carrying this virus and don't know it. So if you stand around in a group of six people, you could be standing there with this virus and transmitting it to other people without knowing that. And so that's not your fault, but that's why we're trying to keep people apart. So I think the enforcement was stepped up. I think people responded to that. I think they responded because they're getting the message. And to me, that's all good news. And thank you uh, to people for cooperating because that'll bring this nightmare to an end as soon as possible. Indeed, and thank you to those officers and bylaw officers who are doing the work that no one really wants to be doing right now, but that's very no. important work that needs to be done. Uh, let's talk a little bit about a new release uh, just this morning. So uh, the, uh, the city has now received provincial uh, authorization to open up two more licensed child care centers for these essential workers. So that's very important. Yes, and if you think about who, whether you're an essential worker or not, you can go to the website and find that information. But by and large, it applies to people who are healthcare workers of all different descriptions, uh, long-term care workers, police officers, firefighters, uh, because we need those people on the job. And they've been doing a fantastic job for us and in sometimes risky, uh, riskier than normal circumstances. So uh, they, we, we put these provisions in place with the help of the province uh, to provide child care for them, uh, 724. And uh, we had initial demand that was about 800 people and we've been able to accommodate now two more of these child care centers one at the foot of Bathurst Street and one out the Danforth and that's where the demand was coming from and where we had child care centers that we could activate and so uh, there are two more open and if people are in need of this or if they want to inquire about it they can go to toronto.ca and have a look but it's one more thing we're trying to do to get through this uh, for our uh, frontline uh, workers who are doing such a great job for us indeed and speaking of our frontline workers uh, at last check with the city obviously there's still a great need when it comes to PPE so the personal protective equipment here here. Um, last check with Chief Pegg, and he was saying that, you know, we work in a two to three week window of what we have for supplies when it comes to masks. Do you have an update on how we're doing with supply here in the city? It's still in that range. And one of the things I had to do over the weekend, for example, was to talk to the federal government because we had a shipment coming in that was tied up in customs. And so, you know, the federal government was great in responding to that and trying to get this shipment moving. And we sort of found out where it was. And so I think that, you know, we're in the same situation where we, we're not in a crisis, but we have a real challenge in that what's happened is, Mel, 
the consumption of PPE, especially masks, has gone up, say, in long-term care, as you've had some of the outbreaks that uh, you've reported on on, on the city news. And uh, so, you know, we're obviously responding to that by making sure that more people wear masks more of the time uh, to protect everybody, staff and, and residents. So, um, you know, we're watching the consumption. We're watching the uh, stockpile as we're the inventory very carefully. And we have supply that is coming in and everybody's helping to get that supply to us. So it's one of those things we watch and talk about every single day. Very important. Uh, Mayor Tory, we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You have a great day too. Thank you so much. Thank you.